Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Uh, today we're not going to do another day of learning, day four. Uh, that's going to be in the next video. Um, I just want to say that uh, I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Once again, eternally grateful for anyone who watches, likes, and subscribes. Um, just want to let you guys know that uh, a couple days ago, I did pass my uh, UX certificate. I've officially done it. You know, it's been a year since uh, I got my my corporate IT job. I believe I started this course February of 2023. Uh, put it on hold for about a year and a half, and then you know went went and finished it because I, I had some progress. I had some. Uh, had some wireframes going on, but I was able to finish it the past couple of days. Um, but it was definitely a wild ride, a lot of work. I think they said there was about like 200 hours in this certificate course, which is about five to six months. Obviously you can do this a little bit faster, um, but I just wanna go through with what the course uh, entails, like what you can learn from it. Um, but this 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 certificate is basically just like a fundamentals. It just gets you get your foot in the door. Um, so there's seven courses in total, I believe. I believe there's seven courses. Yes. So it starts off with foundations, um, and basically what you'll learn is um, usability usability testing, user experience, prototyping, uh, user experience design, and UX research. Uh, so basically, you'll identify common job responsibilities of entry-level UX designers and what other teams you might work with. Understand foundational concepts in UX design, such as user-centered design, the design process, accessibility, and equity-focused design. And you also explain why design sprints are an important and useful part of the UX designer's work. So this course... So this is a total of 19 hours. It just basically outlines what UX design is. Okay, on to the next one. Start the UX design process, empathize, define, and ideate. And basically what you'll learn is you'll learn to empathize. Empathy is a big part of UX design. You need to, you need to understand where the customer or client is coming from, what they want. You need to ask a lot of questions. You need to address their pain points. Um, and it's, in this course, you'll develop problem statements to define user needs and also generate ideas for possible solutions to user problems. They'll, pro uh, they'll probably have you start just like interviewing maybe like friends or family, um, maybe going out into the real world and finding people to, you know, just interview to see what the apps that they use and what needs to be improved. Next one, uh, build wireframes and low fidelity prototypes. Uh, this is course three. This one actually took me a while because it's actually a hands-on activity. You actually learn Figma. Um, and basically what you'll do is you'll create storyboards to come up with ideas about solutions to user needs. Create wireframes on paper and digitally in the design tool Figma. Build paper prototypes to create interactive designs and design low fidelity prototypes in Figma. So basically the previous courses, they'll probably tell you to create a storyboard. And in this course, they're gonna tell you how to draw out everything. Uh, just the basics of Figma, you can, it'll, teach you how to create frames, um, teach you how to add like text boxes, how to create uh, just certain small shapes and everything like that. Course four, conduct UX research and, er and test early concepts. Uh, so basically what you'll learn is you'll plan and conduct moderated and unmoderated usability studies, synthesize operation observations from usability studies and come up with insights, share research methodology and insights using persuasive presentation skills, 
and modify low fidelity designs based on research insights. So basically, you just need to do a little bit more research on what you want. Um, it's just usability studies. You just just a lot more research, and there will probably be um, a little project with this one as well. Course five, create high fidelity designs and prototypes in Figma. You start to build mockups and high fidelity prototypes in Figma. Define and apply common visual design elements and principles. Demonstrate how design systems can be used to organize, standardize, and enhance designs. Understand the role of design critique sessions and feedback while iterating on designs. So basically, course five is going to improve upon uh, course three. You're going to you're going to improve your wireframes. You're going to improve your designs. You're going to create a design system. You're going to start creating sticker sheets. Um, and you're going to start adding more visual elements like navigation bars, hamburger, hamburger uh, menus and everything like that. And you'll also start learning how uh, critique sessions go. Course six is a little different. Uh, I felt like it wasn't that relevant for me for now because uh, this course tells you to go uh, tell you to learn uh, Adobe XD. Uh, there's a lot of mixed feelings about Adobe XD. A lot of people say Figma is the main software you should use, which I do agree because they just released a new um, a new update along with AI features. Uh, so basically for this course is you apply each step of the UX design thinking framework, empathize, def uh, define, ideate, prototype, test, to create a dynamic website. Plan information architecture and sitemaps for website designs. Uh, apply common layouts for web pages. And complete a design project and include it in your professional UX portfolio. So basically anyone with, with web design, you know, graphic design, I actually wouldn't say graphic design, but any person who knows how to use Adobe XD or web design, this is the course for you. And lastly, design a user experience for social good and prepare for jobs. Uh, basically for this course, it's another project that you can do uh, for social good, such as like, such as like a nonprofit. So you apply each step of the UX design thinking framework uh, to create a project focused on social good. You build wireframes, mockups, and low fidelity and high fidelity prototypes for a dedicated mobile app and a responsive website. Prepare to successfully interview for an entry level UX design job and gain a competitive edge by learning AI skills from uh, Google experts. So basically this course is gonna tell you how to get a job in the UX field. Uh, it's gonna go through how you should create your resume. Uh, it's gonna tell you where to apply, what websites to go to, uh, what portfolio websites that you should probably use. And um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. It's, it's just basically just a short summary uh, overall, I think the course is pretty good, especially someone that comes from an IT background. I feel like this course really taught me a lot. Um, I would give this, uh, I would give this maybe a 4.5 out of 5, honestly. There were some issues where getting feedback on certain projects that you had to do. You had to do like peer review uh, projects. Uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of people actually look through your stuff they just give you the points so just so you can pass i think that's really the downside of it you don't really have a mentor or anything to you know keep you uh, accountable for this course it just tells you you need to do it you need to sign like oh you need to sign a commitment but that doesn't really mean anything uh but overall i really like the course it really taught me uh, a lot of stuff uh made me create my first portfolio which I will talk about in the next video. I'll give you like a little preview of it and a case study. Um, but yeah, um, going through a career change right now, hopefully. Um, 
going from IT to UX design is a big step, although the technical aspect of it is there. And um, yeah, I'll I'll just uh, appreciate appreciate you guys watching this video, and I hope you guys will take this course. Uh, it's fortunately it's not free, <laughs> so you will have to either do a trial for seven days, or you have to sign up for their sub subscription plan, which is I believe it's forty dollars a month, which is honestly I think it's totally worth it. Uh, but yeah. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to like and sub, show your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.